All right, so I wanted to give you an overview of this uh, project and kind of try to explain it a little bit better than I have up to now. Okay, so um, the idea is to have a one-stop shop for all your uh, synthesizer needs on the uh, Commodore. You, you can perform with this, you can uh, create with it, you can just goof off with it, whatever. So the um, these right here are editors for global global settings. So, uh, well, that is the um, you you can use different types of keyboard. You can use the Commodore keyboard, or you can use an external keyboard, or you might want to set different color schemes or whatever. That those kind of things would be done here. Uh, this is where you would write songs. Um, you know, define function keys for a particular uh, performance piece. Uh, you know, set effects or whatever. Um, these down here are all songs, and um, so this is the test song. It's uh, I apologize in advance for the cicadas, but yeah. And any song hitting the restore key will stop it. Um, so that just bl blanking the screen is default action it's just going to do that you can override that and these two songs here do these songs also use a string uh, routine that i wrote so that you know you could know when you loaded up a song what the function keys are supposed to do or what effects you have going you know the kind of thing what you know what you need to know for the song but instead and it also had a an initialization vector and you know using that you know i realized i was able to you know create interfaces like like this you know where you can see everything it just prints it up for you and then once the song is going um you can replace the you know the keyboard routine with a um with your own keyboard routine inside the song data and uh so that was kind of cool and you modify anything you want um again restore key stops the song um and of course you know this is the one that i just demoed and um so the difference between this one this one just does you know you the function key is the only thing you're really doing different here is you can blank the screen if you want to i don't have that option uh, yet in the looper i might put that in there um the looper uh you know what's nice about it is the loop recording you can you can uh, choose a voice that you um you want to use here let's see let's go to edit mode and oh i don't have to do that um let's go so if i go to f3 i'm playing playing that voice uh but if i go to f4 i'm recording that voice and when i go when i go to any other uh voice it starts playing it back so you know you can play along And you don't have to, uh, you know. That's that's cool. Now the monosynth doesn't do that, um, and you can have any number of songs. I hope to have this dynamically generated at some point with all the different songs that are on a particular disc. And uh, you know, so that's so when you would what you would do if you were doing this for per, per performance on a stage is uh, you would just choose the song that had all the settings you wanted for a particular song it would load up hopefully fairly quickly and um, you just launch into it and you could just play uh, and then you know if you wanted to uh, just goof off later at home you know with your friends or whatever you you know you just load up one of these fun little interfaces and you do that um, in fact because of the you know the uh, to run these things it creates almost a demo like environment where you've got most of zero page open and all this other stuff so you could do almost anything in there like even you could even put games in here if you wanted to uh, so it's you know it's a fairly all-inclusive environment but I need to write this guy that's the that's the guy I really need to write so that's my next project anyway that's what I'm doing take care